You're watching Daytime Tea Time with Candice. It's time to pour this tea, stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so let's talk about Israel and Adrian Houghton. Grammy award-winning singer and songwriter Israel Houghton appeared on The Real Today, and he opened up about a lot. He was on the show to promote his new song, Secrets, from his new album, Road to Damascus. This new song, Secret, is a duet with him and his lovely wife, Adrian. They performed on the show today, but before they performed, they opened up about a lot. Israel explained the meaning of his album, Road to Damascus, and he said that Damascus is really about demasking us. And he opened up about how Adrian helped to demask him, how she prayed for him and helped him get through his divorce, everything, y'all. Check out what he had to say about that. How has our Adrian here demasked you? She, you know, this record is given to God and these songs are vertical and worship oriented, but I would also have to say I'd have to dedicate this record to her because <laughs> after, after I got divorced, she was one of the first human beings I talked to. She, had, she and I had been friends a long time, but she was the first human I said, here's what I'm really going through. Yeah. People see this public persona, but they don't really know what's really gone on. Yeah. And I expected her, just because of the nature of some of the stuff that I had been through, to, to be the Adrian from the real, to go, see, guys, always an honor. You know, I was ready for that, and I was actually nervous. And instead, she reached across the table to where I was, and she started to pray. She grabbed my hand, she started to pray, she started to cry. I think she could tell I was nervous, like, oh, I don't want to disappoint so many people. And she said, God, please help him to know that he is not what he has done. Wow. And I shocked myself. I think I'm it not shocked God. her. But that has to be God, because in moments like that, you're like, if God can use anyone in anything, that's not even my persona. Like, normally I would be like, no, and that's messed up. And yeah. God literally in that moment took over and just allowed me to minister to him, which is something I never well, would have Well, here's expected. my question. Okay, so you heard that. Adrian was a huge part of Israel starting his journey of forgiving himself and moving forward with his life after such a public divorce. Now, a little bit of background for those of you who don't know, Israel Houghton was married for about 20 years and he announced he and his ex-wife's divorce publicly on Facebook. He did admit to some infidelity within his marriage, saying that he failed in his marriage. And soon after that, he was seen publicly out with Adrian Bailon. So I'm sure you guys can understand why that looked a little bit messy. There was also rumors that Israel Houghton fathered children outside of his marriage. Certain people felt that Adrian Bailon cheated with him and that's why he got divorced. But you guys, that's completely untrue. He did have some infidelity within his marriage, but it was not with Adrian. I'm not gonna identify that woman, but it was not Adrian Bailon. Israel's ex-wife, Melissa, and Adrian actually have a very good relationship. They're friends. I actually did a video on that proving that Adrian and Israel's ex-wife are actually good. There's no mess there, so click the link below if you wanna see that video. Okay, so Lonnie goes on to actually ask Israel how did he deal with all of the rumors and everything surrounding his divorce and his new relationship with Adrian. Check out what he had to say. Well, it was interesting because, um, you know, when you go through stuff like that and you finally announce, hey, here's what's going on, um, people assume this just happened last Tuesday. And the truth is there had been so much leading up to that, five years of stuff leading up to that moment. So I had dealt with all the stuff that I personally had to deal with and made sure my family was healthy and, and, and whole through all of that before I ever announced, hey, here's what's up. But when it happened, I understand what it means to um, have peace that passes understanding. Mm. It's like peace that makes no sense because I should be freaking out, I should be replying, I should be, you know, going off, and instead I had this peace. And I think that was... Why do you think you had that peace? Because um, when you're willing to literally take your mask off and lose everything, like I was willing to lose everything, and I realized here's why. I've had platforms, I've had accolades, I've had all the things that people go after, but I had no peace. Yeah. Like I'm here worshiping the Prince of Peace, telling people how good God is, and I am living with an absence of peace. And so getting past that mask, I think the mask for most of us feels like it's protective and like nobody's gonna see what's really going on, but really it's suffocating. It is cutting off your oxygen when you're trying to be fake and filter and edit your life. And so I was like, I'm taking that off and I'm going to, if I have to lose everything, I will. And what I found was instead of a platform, I found peace for the first time in my life. And 
All right, you guys, so I actually really enjoyed that interview. I know a lot of people had their judgments and their opinions about Adrian and Israel, but this is my position. Everybody is human. We all make mistakes. We all fall short of the glory of God. Just because you're a Christian or a minister or a leader in the church, that does not mean that you are exempt from being a sinner. If you're new subscribers, you may not know, but both of my parents are pastors. So this topic is very, very close to me because I grew up in the church and I watched how judgmental and fake a large amount of people are in the church. Not everybody in the church, but a lot of people. And it's just not a good thing. Of course, you don't have to blast all of your news and all of your business and your sins to everybody, but you also don't have to fake as if you're not a sinner. So I personally appreciate Israel being so honest and open and sharing his journey. And I know a lot of y'all probably have the side eye right now, probably thinking, well, he didn't tell us all the details. What about those alleged kids that he had on his wife? He doesn't have to share every single detail. He told us that he cheated. He told us that he got a divorce. All the details within his divorce is nobody's business. Now I'm guilty of being nosy and wondering myself, but at the end of the day, that's his business, his ex-wife's business, and God's business. I'm just saying, after this interview, if y'all still have a problem with Israel and Adrian, you really should search your own spirit and ask God to help you and take that spirit of judgmentalness off of you. I'm just saying. He had a mask on hiding all of his sins and his issues that he was going through. So I think it's amazing that he's taken his mask off, he's repented to God, and he's moving forward with his life. His ex-wife has forgiven him, his new wife has forgiven him, and he, most importantly, he has forgiven himself. All right, you guys, so let's get to his album because I am a huge fan of his music, y'all. His album is titled Road to Damascus. He actually explained what that means to him, giving an example from the Bible, and also he put a spin on the word Damascus. He said it means to demask us. Check this out. Well, in the Bible, you know, the Apostle Paul had this what they call the Damascus Road experience. He, he had been persecuting Christians, he runs into Jesus, and, and his life has changed. In, in, in short, that's what happened. And I was explaining to my brother-in-law a couple years ago, I said, I feel like I had my own Damascus Road experience. It's kind of where you go to bed on top of the world and then you wake up with the world on top of you. <laughs> wow. And you go, okay, something's gotta change here. And out of that whole encounter, like I feel like I've been doing church and ministry my whole life, and yet I had such an, a face-to-face -face encounter with God that changed my life and it gave me the courage to take my mask off so it's not Damascus in Syria it is de-mask us. Uh, oh. let's, all take, Get it? let's all take our mask off and yeah. it's the us that's the most important part. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean by that? I think it's for everybody you don't go through trials and tribulations and storms and shipwrecks just to go hey I made it it's to help somebody else find their voice yeah. and find so a way out of yeah. their yeah. Yeah. And then at the very end of the show Adrian and Israel actually sing their new song, Secrets. The song and album is out now, so if you're interested, I suggest that you go out and buy it right now and enjoy that word from God, okay?
Alright you guys, I'm done with this. I need to know what y'all think. What do y'all think about Israel Houghton's new album Road to Damascus and his new song with his wife, Adrian Bailon called Secrets? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, alright? Bye.